Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. My name is Danny DeLillo and I'm here with Karina. Hi everybody. And she has her movie Short Shorts. Let's take a look at a clip. Karina, it's so great to welcome you back um, to New Filmmakers LA and, and thank you so much for your wonderful film. Um, oh, I thank loved you. it. Thank you for me. Oh, of course. I love it, love it, love it. I love those lights. It's fantastic. It's like glowing on you. Yeah, um, I know. My room's very extra. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. Yeah, so Short Shorts is a coming of age story about an American Muslim teenage girl who essentially uses clothes to um, sort of a uh, self-expression um, to meet the expectations of her family and her friends. I, I mean, it was, it, it was so wonderful because it was something that was so simple, but so significant, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I, I, it was an amazing journey that, 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 that you took us on. Where did you kind of get the inspiration to, to turn this, you know, story into an, an actual film? Absolutely, yeah, I think, I think it's just a story that I've always wanted to tell. Um, it's a very personal story. Uh, and I grew up uh, with a very similar experience uh, to the main character, Fatima, um, sort of just, you know, using clothes as a way to express myself. Um, and I think just having that experience, I just wanted to make art that mirrored that. Um, yeah. And I think it was just based on that. Um, and also just based on the fact that there's not a lot of stories about Muslim women on the screen, and especially coming of age stories that sort of show these little moments. Um, and so I think it was just a mix between the two and just this desire that propelled me to make the film. I love it. And, and you, you know, you're right. There's, 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 not enough, there's not enough stories from this perspective at all. And I thought, you know, um, one of the great things that we love at New Filmmakers is, is just, you know, actually highlighting um, storytellers and stories that actually need to be heard, need to be on our screens. What did you kind of want like your audience to sort of take from your film? Yeah, I mean, I think I got the same question at the Q&A and I was even thinking about it even after the Q&A. <laughs> and I think what's important just about the film is that there's no real solution presented at the end. I think the character is sort of just stuck in a way. She's stuck between trying to balance these two expectations, um, whether it is from her home life, her family, or sort of her external life with her friends. And I think it's a film that tells you that it's okay to be stuck and it's okay to not really have yourself figured out yet because that's the biggest part about growing up. You don't really know yourself. Um, and I think it's okay to not know yourself and uh, you know, you'll find yourself along the way. Um, so I think that's, that, that is the takeaway I wanted people to get uh, from the story. I, I love that because, you know, it showed the perspective of the character and, you know, like a lot of coming of age stories, you know, there were elements in there, that you find that even though it may be not necessarily your story, but you can relate to in some form of a way, or at least reflect or understand what it is like when you're in the first years of your life. Absolutely. And figuring life out. And then, you know, also as well, just adapting to, you know, our parents know and were taught one thing, and then we're the next generation and we got, we're experiencing a whole lot more and it's different and how those two worlds collide. Like I yeah. thought you put it, so, you articulated it so wonderfully well. I love the relationship between you know, your friend and your father. And, you know, it was, it was really powerful. And like, what I liked about it so much is that you weren't making one like better than the other, like this was bad and this was not bad. And, right. and I think that was so powerful. Like both, but you know, your relationship with your friends was, was important. Your relationship with your family was important and you right. weren't trying to like, you know, have a sort of like, this is right, and this is wrong. You're just saying how it is for you. Was that kind of important that you wanted to put in this film rather than sort of be biased on a certain point of view? I think I definitely just had in my head that I wanted it to be the balance. That was really important to me, um, especially because I think a lot of films that sort of just talk about Muslim or Arab sort of experiences on screen, I think they just put too much emphasis on like, oh, this is bad. Like, oh, the family and the religion, all this. And I just wanted it to be a story that was more, at least to my truth and sort of just yeah. about how um, it's not always one-sided. There's always more than one side of the story. And sometimes even your friends pressure you more than your own family. Yeah. Um, so 
Well, I think that's in, and I also wanted it to be about Fatima, about the main character and her internal strife. And, you know, I didn't want anyone telling her, you should do this or you should do that. There's no one telling her what to do, but she sort of just assumes these expectations and tries to meet them. So the battle is within herself. So I yeah. actually thought that was also very important for me when I was writing it um, for the film. Well, you took on many roles. It was wonderfully acted and it, okay. it really was well written and, and well directed. How was it taken on all of those roles? Yeah, <laughs> it was a lot. I'm, I mean, I think, you know, I think just it being my first film, I think that I just never, I've never been through the experience before, either as a director, and of course, I've never acted officially on screen before either. You can't um, I think, that. oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Amazing. Um, thank you. Um, but yeah, so I think, I think just because I had this personal connection to Fatima, because it was, you know, based on my personal story, I think I just felt that I could step into the shoes and assume the role and it wouldn't be as difficult. But again, directing is just a completely different hat to put on. And I think just trying to do both made it really hard to just fill one of the shoes. Like I felt like I was trying to balance um, director, actor, and it was just really hard to just be completely um, just into one role. Um, so I think it was, it was really hard. Um, but yeah, I mean, I did the best I could and I learned a lot from doing both at the same time. No, you did a fantastic job. Like it's not easy when you're, it's your, I mean, this is what's so surprising to me. It's like your first time acting, it's your first film. Like, I mean, you, you would not recognize that in, in, in your work. It was so powerful. Um, and, you know, and, and Fatima, I mean, her character was, was you know, what I loved about the, the performance as well is there was so much that, that was, was unsaid, but I could feel her energy and feel what was going on in her mind. Was that something that you kind of wanted the audience to kind of, you know, sort of relate to her and really sort of, you know, kind of feel her energy, if anything, of, of what she was kind of feeling internally? Right. I mean, I definitely wanted the people's voices around her to be kind of big, like, you know, the family conversation and the friend conversation. There were sort of these outside forces, but I always wanted to be her own voice to be more internal. Yeah. Um, so that's why I sort of just left her actions to speak to herself, for herself. Well, I think that's what, I mean, this is what I loved also is that, you know, there are, there are many people out there that, that may not be as vocal as others, but it doesn't mean they're not thinking and not feeling. Absolutely. And, and you gave this person the, you know, the, the lead focus. And I, and I thought that was so powerful because I think often not, you know, the most more vocal people overpower people that maybe don't have or don't haven't even explored their own voice yet because they're still young and discovering themselves and who they are and what they stand for. And I think that was also really nice to see as well is that, you know, and again, it's coming of age, it's coming to find yourself and understanding who you are. And, and that was great. What was um, like, I mean, from a tech perspective, you had many different, you know, I was like, how are you doing all of this? There was a lot of different scenes and different places Like in your first film, what was the biggest challenges that you faced? Yeah, I mean, besides the directing, acting, I think was my biggest challenge. Um, I think production was a bit challenging just because we had uh, two stretches of the shoot. We had one at the beginning of summer and one at the end. Mm -hmm. So but there was a little break in between because we filmed in Pittsburgh and then we went to film in Florida, actually. Yeah. Um, so I think just um, keeping the momentum going between the first shoot and the second shoot and, you know, just balancing the fact that we had to just go to a completely different location in Florida. Yeah. Um, I think just production itself just taking all that into account was also kind of challenging. Um, but it was very rewarding because it was beautiful. Like I, I wanted to see Florida. Like I wanted to feel like we were there. So the, the environment was very important to me as mm -hmm. well. And, and, and with your cast, like you obviously, you know, your father and your friends and everything else, like how, how do you bring your cast together in your first film? How do you go about doing that? Right, I mean, this, again, this is my first film. So I just didn't have as much experience. So I turned to my producers and they had worked with a casting director previously. so. We sort of built off that relationship. So she sort of helped us fill in the gaps um, for the other roles we were looking for. So it was a mix of that. Um, and then backstage, of course, is always helpful. So yeah, I think the other roles filled up uh, nicely and pretty smoothly, thanks to the brilliant casting director. Well, you, I mean, the thing is though, like, I mean, there is, it's very exciting making your first film. And then yeah. of course you're taking on all of those different roles. 
I mean, like there are a lot of people out there that, you know, want to follow in your footsteps and, you know, and think, my goodness, I wish I could make a film and I want to put it forward. How was that first like day experience for you? Like, were you nervous? Like what things were going through Um, in the first day? I mean, I think it's just something that you can't prepare for. And I just, you know, learned that. Um, Just it's, it's, I mean, I think you can go to film school. I didn't, but even for someone I feel that went to film school, went through, you know, the process of just learning the technicalities of it. I just think that, especially because it was a personal story for me, that there's just so many other just internal conflicts going with just being in this role. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, having even just been through this growing up and it was just a lot for me to just swallow. Um, At least the first day, I think I was very almost shell shocked by Mm -hmm. just, you know, having to step into these shoes that I feel like I've shed a long time ago and then yeah. be the director and then sort of just be present for the cast and the crew. So I don't know, I think it's it's hard to put into words, but I think it was a bit of a, just a shell shock, but it did get easier. And I had a great team to support me. And I think having a team that you can lean on is really, really important. And a team that's experienced if you're not, which mm-hmm. they were. So they definitely, they were great for me to lean on. So I think without them, I would have had a much harder time, but yeah. Um, so yeah. And, and what, so I'm, I'm curious also, because this sometimes comes up where, uh, you know, uh, somebody is, is, is in front and behind camera. So when you're like, ha- what, what, is there any advice you have for anyone out there that is like in front of camera as an actor and then also, you know, working behind, who do you speak to, relate to, to check in with yourself that you're, everything's good? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. I think that's also something important. Um, just if you are going to be directing and acting, if you're going to be acting and, you know, whatever. Um, because one of the big problems I had was not knowing if I was looking good, if I was doing what I was supposed to, it's just so hard. Um, and I found myself just um, leaning on my AD, who is also one of my producers, which is really important because to me, Katie, Katie, who's um, great and really helped short shorts get off the ground initially, um, she just, I trusted her so much. And when I was in the scenes, I would look to her and say, what do you think? Did that look good? Should we do something else? Because honestly, it was just so hard for me to see myself and to know what's good and what's not. Um, And she, I I trusted her advice and she would give me, you know, little notes of direction. And if you have someone like that to really bounce off of and work with, I think you'll have a much easier time as well. Yeah, Um, no, definitely. No, absolutely. I think it's such a key thing. And it's, it's also great to you know, I mean, your team is everything. It doesn't matter how big it is, but just you've got a good solid team, people you trust that you work with. It's, it's Absolutely. fantastic. So going through that journey of making your, your first film, yeah. what is it like then to have your film at film festivals? We were so happy to have your film at New Filmmakers Los Angeles in this, yeah. in this virtual experience. What is that feeling like after all the hard work you put in to then actually putting your film out there? What was that feeling like? I mean, it's indescribable. It's it's so amazing just because I think this was a story that was in my head for such a long time. And then it's also nerve wracking because people are looking at your work. And I think it's also been a journey for me to be okay with having people see the work. Um, because also in a way art is almost therapeutic. I almost do it for myself. But then to think, okay, you know, if you want to be a director, if you want to, you have to have other people see it, you have to put yourself out there and just open yourself to criticism, open yourself to. Um, so I think it's been a journey of just accepting, you know, just the fact that you're just, you're just put out there. Um, Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's thrilling. I love being a new filmmaker because LA and I love the opportunity to have even a Q and A where people would relate to the story and ask you questions. And I think it's really special um, at the same time. So it's rewarding to put yourself out there, even though it's really hard sometimes. No, of course. I mean, I think it's amazing. I mean, did it, did it, did it um, feel kind of like, obviously when it's a personal story, did it feel kind of like therapeutic for you as an artist to, to sort of put it out there and then, you know, hopefully share it with other people that can relate, understand, educate? Was that kind of a nice feeling to put it out there in this, in this context? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think all my art in a way is just therapeutic just because a lot of my art does deal with Arab American, Muslim American stories that, you, you know, just intersect culture, religion, an identity. So I think um, in a way, my art just turned out to be therapeutic. Um, but I think, yeah, I think it's just, I think it's, there's nothing more rewarding than having people look at something and say, oh, I see myself or, oh, that's how I grew up. Even one of the directors that was in New Filmmakers LA with me even said, oh my gosh, I used to do that with my parents. Oh, you really took me back. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's great. Because I wanted it to be a universal story that whether you're Arab, whether you're Muslim, that you can say, hey, in some way or another, I had expectations to meet 
whether it's with my parents or whether it's with my friends or whether it's even within yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so that was, that was great. I mean, yes, I just, just please just like keep making more movies for us. Cause I just, I love your, <laughs> I'm like, there's so many more films you're going to be, be making for the world to see. Uh, what is your plans next for you? Uh, what, what would you like to do next? Oh my gosh. Um, so I'm actually part of the, a fellowship now with the Jacob Burns Film Center where they have an amazing fellowship that gives mentorship and gives financial support to um, emerging artists um, and directors. And I'm under their fellowship. So I'll be making two shorts uh, within the next Great. year through fall and spring. So I have two more shorts coming. So I'm really excited to just do more stuff. And oh, I'm so excited for you. Karina, you're so, so deserving. I'm so, I'm so glad. What, what kind of genres are you going for? Is there any particular subjects or is it kind of not disclosed yet? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's sort of, um, I'm still working on the script for the first short, so I don't want to say too much, but I will say that it is within the themes of, it is about an Arab American Muslim woman, main protagonist again, and it is again about the themes of family, culture, um, mm -hmm. And just, uh, it, it is a completely different story, but it's along the same themes that I've always been interested in uh, working yeah. with. So I'm really excited. I'm excited I'm, I'm, to be down there. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. And I'm excited that you're, you're making films um, that we need in our movie theaters, in, in every platform, more visibility, uh, you know, more understanding and, 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 and everything else. I mean, is it, is it, are you kind of, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's a time in where the, this industry has really got to change and really, you know, embrace um, the world that we live in and the people that live in it. And so is it, is it kind of, as, as much as it's challenging, it's exciting to sort of be able to sort of, you know, make these stories to hopefully be part of a major change and shift of what we need to see in this industry as well. Absolutely. Yeah. I think diversity in the industry is so important. It's also, I think one of the reasons why I decided that even though it's hard, you need to put your work out there. You need to keep writing these stories um, just because, you know, even though I think there has been a lot of great up and coming, you know, work by Muslims, by Arab American Muslims, um, there just needs to be so many more stories, especially from women being told um, just about all their experiences. Um, because there's, I think there is a danger of the single story where just because there is one story, that doesn't mean the work's done. Like, you know, I think there needs to be just a, a wide variety of stories um, to really just speak truth um, on people and their individual experiences. But I think it's fantastic that the industry just keeps growing, keeps learning, and we're really just, you know, trying to be as inclusive as possible, so. Well, thank you for being part of the, the change that we need. Um, it's very, very exciting. And Honestly. I want to... <laughs> We're, we're grateful for you, but I just want to finish it, um, you know, after this whole experience, um, you know, as a first time filmmaker, I, I hope we'll get back to have a conversation after your 30th film too, if you still remember us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but what is one piece of advice that you would like to share with any filmmaker, emerging filmmaker out there that maybe you could give um, for, from, your, from your perspective and your experience uh, thus far? Yeah, I think the most important thing, um, just for me, what I learned is that again, as a first time filmmaker who didn't necessarily go to film school, who didn't learn just, you know, it through a production lens, I think you really need to network and sort of look at the people you know and think to yourself, like who would be a great support system, who has the experience. Um, for me, that was, you know, one of my producers, Katie, and also Kieran, because I knew they had the experience um, and they were within my network. Um, mm -hmm. So I think it is important to reach out to the people that you know. Um, because a good team makes or breaks the film. It doesn't matter how great the idea is. You really need to trust um, in the people that you work with. Um, and so I think that that's really what made Short Short such a smooth sailing experience and allowed me to focus on the creative aspects because mm -hmm. I knew they had my back on all the logistics and they really just nailed it. Um, so even though I didn't have that experience, they did. Um, so that's what I would suggest to a first time filmmaker. Fantastic. I love chatting to you. It's so such it's so great to chat to you. I'm so I'm so excited for you. Well, we really appreciate you at New Filmmakers for bringing Thank short shorts to us. Um, you you have to watch it. It's it's so fantastic. You can hardly believe it's Karina's first film. You're like, this has got to be like 30 films in, surely. Um, but no, we're very happy and very um, appreciative, and we thank you for your work. And please keep making more movies for us. Is that okay? Yes, thank yes. you so much, Danny. You're so kind. Thank you. Uh, and thank you to New Filmmakers LA also. This was an amazing experience. It really was. Wonderful. They're an awesome bunch. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.